Should I start? Yes, now you can start. Hello children, welcome to my online class. A very warm welcome to all my class two students. For today's session, I am your teacher and my name is Hina Rafikata and I am from Tilaknagar, Mumbai Public School. I am very much happy to teach you all for today's session. Children, today we will deal with subject English. So before we start the lesson, I will ask some questions. Do we see animals around us, children? Yes, we see many animals around us. What animals do we see in our surrounding? We see dogs, cats, crow, cow, and mouse, and many birds, right? Can you name some animal which you haven't seen yet? Hippo, penguin, giraffe, elephant, panda. Wow, great, what a list. Even I have not seen them in my life. Do you wish to see these animals, children? Do you want to see them? Yes, who would not? Okay, I will make your dream come true. Let's call the fairy. Fairy, fairy, please show us the animals which we wish to see. Fairy, fairy, please show us the animals which we wish to see. Ta-da! The fairy is here. Hello children. I am here to make your dream come true. Come on, let's go. So see children, fairy is inviting us. And let's see where she is taking us to. Let's go. Oh, what a wonderful place, the zoo. Children, welcome to the zoo. Wildlife wait for you. You will see many interesting animals, like very, very wild animals. Look at this. Wow, we are into the zoo. And what animals do we see? We see two big elephants with big ears. And there are two big giraffes with long neck. And what do we see? We see zebras. And there are hippos in the pond enjoying. And there are monkeys jumping on the tree. Wow, this is so wonderful. Let's see some other animals in the zoo. Wow, pandas. I love them. They look so cute. Oh, ho, a panda is sleeping and one is enjoying its sing time. Wow. Oh, what do we see? This, these are hippos. And what are they doing? They are enjoying in the pond. They like to be in the water. Let us see some other animals in the zoo. Wow, deer. Look, this one is so cute. And they also have horns on them. Oh, ho, who are these animals? Can you guess them? These are bears. And see, two bears are busy sleeping and there's a baby bear as well. Do you know children? Bears love to have honey. They their favorite food is honey. You can see a honeycomb on the tree, hanging on the tree. There are bees around. So this honeycomb 
will be enjoyed by his peers. Wow, now we see cool penguins. Oh, ho, they come in white and black colors. Wow, this is so nice to see. I haven't seen in my life penguins. Children, do you know there are many kinds of animals around us? Like mammals, birds, insects, reptiles. For children, there are mammals like zebra, lion, giraffe, dolphin, dog. These all animals are called mammals. And there are birds like kite, crow, peacock, ostrich, flamingo. And then there are insects like mosquito, butterfly, moth, termite, cricket, and there are so many insects. And then we come to reptiles. Look at this reptile animals. Snake, alligator, lizard, crocodile, turtle, chameleon. You must have seen snakes, lizards, turtles, but you must have not seen crocodile, chameleon. Right, so chameleon must be a very new animal for you. You haven't heard before. But children, today I have a surprise for you. Today we are going to learn about chameleons. Yes, you heard it right. Today we are going to learn chameleons poem. So children, let us sing the poem. Chameleons are seldom seen, seldom seen, seldom seen. Chameleons are seldom seen, seldom seen. They are red, they are orange. Then they are green, they are red, they are orange. Then they are green. They are the nature's strangest sights, strangest sights, strangest sights. They are the nature's strangest sights, strangest sights. Their colors change like traffic lights. Their colors change like traffic lights. So students, I hope that you have enjoyed this poem. Isn't it interesting? So students, the poet says that chameleons are seldom seen. They are red, they are orange, then they are green. They are one of nature's strangest sights. Their colors change like traffic lights. So this poem is written by Colin West. So the poet says chameleons are seldom seen. That means chameleons are very rarely seen animals. You cannot see a chameleon very easily. Have you seen this animal before? Like I have not seen this animal before. This looks so strange. So I will tell you what does the meaning of seldom is. Like what are the things which are seldom seen? That means which are rarely seen. And they are not easy to find very easily. You cannot see them everywhere. Like, look at these bananas, bunch of bananas. Have you seen blue colored bananas? I have never seen. They are so rare. We have seen only yellow bananas and green bananas. But look at them. They are blue colored bananas. So they are very rare things. Look at this picture. What do you see? You see a horse with curly hairs. You must have seen horse have so silky hairs on their body. But look at this. This horse has curly hair. How lucky. So this is a very rare phenomenon. So look at this picture. There are two hands which has six fingers on it. Okay. 
Now see, you have five fingers on each hand, but look at this person. It has six fingers on each hand. So total 12 fingers. Isn't it rare? Isn't it seldom seen? Oh, a transparent fish. Look at this fish. It looks transparent. You can easily see through it. So this is also very seldom seen thing. Wow, such a tall sunflower. Look at this sunflower plant. It is taller than the lady standing beside. And look at this another sunflower. It has two colors in it. One is maroon and one is yellow. Wow, what a beautiful mixture and what a beautiful thing to see. And you know, these things are very rarely seen. That means very seldom seen. You cannot see them easily anywhere. So the poet says that chameleons are red, orange and green. So they change their color from red to orange and then to green. The poet also says that chameleons are nature's strangest sights. Now I will tell you why chameleons are nature's strangest sights. Look at this chameleon walking. How beautifully he walks. And look at the eyes. How it is turning its eyes. Like they can see at a time what's in their front and what's in their back. So isn't it interesting to see? Isn't it strange? See they move their eyes totally. Totally they move their eyes. Can you try them? Can you try like this to move your hands? Okay don't try. It won't happen. <laughs> Okay, now let's see another video. Now look at this picture. What do you see? A chameleon is hunting its prey. Now how it is hunting its prey? Let's show you. Look at this. It pulls out its tongue and then catches its prey. Look, he caught an insect. Isn't it strange to see that this animal is having its food through its tongue? Wow, this is strange. Look at this chameleon. What is it trying to do? Is it climbing on the tree? Or is it exercising? I guess this chameleon is doing exercise. So a good message for all of us. Early morning exercise. Look at this horn shaped chameleon. Wow, it has three horns on it and it looks so beautiful. Like have you seen such animals with so many variety? I will show you a short video. Look at here, there are so many kinds of chameleon. Chameleons of the world. Like there are Labot's chameleon, Jackson's chameleon, a carpet chameleon. And um, look at this, it has carpet uh, texture. So maybe they call carpet chameleon, Parsons chameleon, Miller's chameleon. So there are so many types of chameleon, right? Like there are some blue, which is called panther chameleon. And you can see Jackson's chameleon. It has four horns on it. Four horns. And a mountain chameleon, which has two horns on it. Wow, isn't it strange thing to notice, children? Or do you know, children? There are some people who keep these animals as their pet animals. I'll show you this cute video. Look at this. It is so tiny of a baby chameleon trying to go on to the finger. Wow, look how we jumped. Wow, that's so cute.
Wow, look at this chameleon. What is it trying to do? Yes, it's trying to wash its hands. And so we are getting a good message that we should frequently wash our hands when chameleon is trying to wash their hands. So why not we? Now look at these three chameleons. A red, a yellow and a blue. So interesting colors. Like, Have you seen an animal which has so many colors? Like suppose if we say a crow, do you see a crow in many colors? Like we see only black crows, right? Or mouse in black color or brown color. But look at the world of chameleon. They are filled with colors and colors. So the poet says that chameleons change their color like traffic lights. So the poem compares chameleon with traffic lights. So how a traffic light changes its color from red to yellow to green. In similar way, chameleons can change their color. They have this amazing quality of changing their color. Only chameleons can do it, okay? Don't try it. So children, isn't it interesting to know about such an animal? I am in love with these animals. Like, they are so cute. Now I will show you a video of how a chameleon is changing its color. Look, it changed its color from orange to pink. And now from pink to purple. And then to green. Look how it's moving its eyes and how slowly it walks. And then from green to green to yellow. And then yellow to blue. Wow. And then from blue to gray. Wow. They are so lucky they can change their body colors. Look how it turns the sides. So children, you have seen this video and I hope that you have enjoyed the video. Like you must have seen how the chameleon changes its color and it's not easy to say, uh, see this phenomenon very easily. So now children, assessment time. Well, I, will, I will assess your knowledge. Who changes their colors like traffic lights? Yes, you are right. A chameleon changes its color like traffic lights. 
Name the three colors of traffic lights. Now you have to tell the colors of traffic lights. What are the three colors? Yes, red, orange, and green. Now children, you have to tell me rhyming word of scene. What is the rhyming word of scene from the poem? Okay. Like, may I or tell you the poem? Then you may find the rhyming word. Okay. Chameleons are seldom seen. They are red, they are orange, then they are green. So see, seen, green. So the rhyming word of seen is green. Now let's see the next rhyming word, sights. So what is the rhyming word of sights from the poem you have to tell? Like, they are the nature's strangest sights. Their colors change like traffic lights. So sights, lights. So these two are rhyming words. So the rhyming word of sights will be lights excellent children congratulations now i will introduce you some new words the first is chameleons c h a m e l e o n s chameleons the next word is seldom s e l D O M, seldom. The third word is strangest. S T R A N G E S T, strangest. And the fourth one is sights. S I G H T S, sights. So these are the four new words. You have to uh, write them in your notebook and practice uh, by hearting the spellings. Okay. And I have told you the meaning of all these words during explanation. Now, children, let's play a game. Okay. Now, let's play a game. What do you need? You need a paper and a pen. So what you have to do, you have to find smaller words from the bigger word. Like I will show you a bigger word and you have to try to find smaller words as much as you can. Now the first word is chameleons. Okay. Now see, this is a very big word, chameleon. So uh, try to tell me. How many words you can find from this word chameleon? You have to find smaller words. So your time starts now. Okay, children, time up. So we will see words which we can find from the word chameleon. Like the first word is melon. The next word is man. Me. Hole. Own. Same. Alone. Male. Heel. 
lemon, home, name, king, king. So children, we have seen these many words. You may find some more words as well from this list. Okay, and this is very uh, interesting session or interesting game. So, now children, we have an activity time. We will learn how to draw a chameleon. Now, what do you need? You need a paper and a pen. So students, today we are going to learn how to draw a chameleon. So first what you have to do is, you have to start with the eyes and then we will draw its head. So first we will draw the face of the chameleon. We will draw a smiling chameleon and then the body of the chameleon and then we have to draw its tail. So after drawing tail, what we can do is we can start with the body. We can draw stripes on the chameleon. We have to draw the stripes. Let's complete the stripes. So we have finished drawing 70% of the chameleon. Now we are going to draw the branch. Branch of a tree. Now we will draw the legs of the chameleon. So this is the second leg we are drawing. Now we will complete the branch of the tree. And we can draw the leaves on the tree. Now it's coloring time. I have chosen three colors, blue, brown and yellow. And let's start with blue color. So you have to be very careful while coloring. You can do this very slowly and enjoy this time of coloring. Be very careful while coloring near the stripes as the color should not enter into the stripes. And you can choose any color which you want. Like you can choose red, yellow, orange, because the interesting thing about chameleons is they come in many, many colors. So you can choose your favorite colors. Mine, mine is blue, so I have chosen blue color. So be very careful while coloring. You can color with the crayons. I am going with the sketch pens. You can also do it watercolors, whatever you wish, or pencil colors. Okay, so we have, I think, done with the body. And okay, the remaining section of the leg. 
I have to color that as well. So now we are going to color the stripes with yellow color. Now it's time to color the branch of the tree. I'm choosing brown color. Be very careful while doing this. And take your time. Don't hurry. You can take your time. And you can watch this video on YouTube as well. Okay, today's session can be watched on the YouTube as well. On BMC Edu English Standard Second channel. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the like button. So now it's time to color the leaves. So I'm choosing green color for this and look how beautiful this looks. So a chameleon is ready. <laughs> so this is how the picture will look after drawing. So I hope that you have liked this activity. So now children, homework time. You have to find any five differences from the given two pictures. Okay, there are two pictures, picture A and picture B. So what different things you see, okay, you have to spot them. And this is very easy. You will do this very easily according to me. And take your time. This is your homework. So you can do it at your own space. So children, I hope that you have enjoyed this session. Thank you for joining. And um, for today, um, let us say bye-bye. And we will meet in another session. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching this video. You can watch this video on YouTube on BMC Edu English Standard Second YouTube channel. Okay. And watch this video later as well. Share this with your friends and with your teachers and with your family members. And thank you for joining, children. I hope that you have enjoyed this session. Thank you.